Lewis. What a phenomenal victory. Many congratulations. Talk us through the start and that first corner because that was gutsy. Yeah, the first corner was... Uh, I had to push like crazy. You know, I had to get that start. The start was very, very crucial. Um, getting by at the start really made it made the race. You know, it's so difficult to pass here, as you see probably with the guys behind. Undercutting is possible, but um, on the track, you just can't follow through that first sector because it's all downforce. And so... Um, but I was on the inside inside line, and in actual fact, um, the inside line is not the best line. Uh, that was the only line I had to be on, but the outside line is the actual race line. So he actually had a better line going in, but I had to try and just get on the gas and try and make it stick. And um, I was running out of road at one point, um, as obviously he did because he was on the outside. But uh, it was it was a good feeling to get back in front. And uh, yeah, I felt after that was just managing the tyres and, and getting the gap the way I needed it. But the car was... I don't think they had the same pace as me today, as you could see. So I think even if I was second, I, I was in a strong position. You managed your tyres beautifully. You made your mediums last longer than your hards. Um, let's talk us through how good the car felt to you. The car really, I have to say, you know, as a, I have to really take my hat off to my guys. They did an amazing job every weekend with the balance and stuff. But really, we didn't have Friday, and, you know, we had that one hour really to get the car nailed. And it was... Um, it was really difficult. I came in and I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it, so I left it with my guys, got in the car for qualifying, and they did an amazing job to, to fine-tune it. Went out and it felt great, and even today felt even better. So I was, it was a dream. This is the best, the best feeling I've ever had at this track in terms of the flow. For the first time, I've been actually on it at this track using every ounce of the road, uh, inch of the road. And, um, yeah, so uh, and to match Edson is just... This doesn't feel real. <laughs> That's the thing, to do it here where he won every one of his world championships with a crowd that adored him so much and that he was your hero. I know you say it doesn't feel real, but what does it mean to you to do it here? Yeah, well, you know, I just think about the times where we worked, you know, where we arrive at the track and and um, we were the unknowns as, as, as a family, me and my dad, and just the, we set out, I remember the day that Edson passed, was where the track I started, and it was one of the saddest days at the time for a young kid. And and um, but I always just aspired to do what he had done at some point, or done to do something similar to him. So to come here, I mean, I'm I'm honoured to be in the presence of uh, a great like him, and um, not only as a driver, but what he did for his country, what he did for the people, for the did for kids, kids like me, because um, I didn't, I wasn't able to relate to anyone else. So um, so to come here and match his wins. Um, is, is an absolute dream and um, yeah, I feel incredibly privileged.